guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Lorena Gary and I post here on my YouTube channel every Monday and Saturday. So please don't forget to like, comment, share if you haven't already. And let's go ahead and jump in. So today we are going to go ahead and go in with a fine sanding band. We just did a soak off prior to this. So any of that stuff that you still see on her nail, it is just some leftover acrylic and in some spots it didn't want to budge so I am just going to go in and try to get it, the rest of it off of my e-file without going down to her natural nail. And I am going to go ahead and be pushing back the cuticles too if I feel like they ended up going down into like my prep area so and I want to get them out of the way. I do kind of want to mention to you guys why I have been gone. We did end up getting our new home which I am super excited about and we've been super busy with. It is a fixer-upper so it is taking some time to kind of settle in here but I'm super excited because the more and more we get the more and more we're able to do in the house the closer I feel like it's like is to be making it our home and stuff and honestly I feel like with our last house we were very very spoiled it was basically turnkey we didn't have to do anything to it besides paint the outside and garden a little bit and some plants up in the park and with this house it is so 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 much work so we have been trying to get everything done and getting it ready here but you guys it is taking us a lot more time than i thought it would but hopefully soon we'll be able to get everything the way we like it i do want to update the restroom and things like that and yeah i just don't i'm kind of scared of demoing just because i'm afraid of seeing the inside of the walls but it's something that has to be done and we can't afford it and so with that being said we had to pretty much do everything ourselves but thank you for the internet because the internet has so much information and knowledge and people who are able to help you and show you for free the steps of what you should and shouldn't be doing when you are renovating. So I'm hoping that doing that and that thankfully I have some family members that they are in in to like the <laughs> sorry you guys they are in construction. I was trying to find the word but they are in construction so they are able to help us and things like that and tell us if what we're doing and what we're not doing is right. And even with my uncle, he did come over because some the switches here in this house, it is pretty old. So we did end up having to replace a few, especially in my son's room. And my uncle, he was an electrician, so he was showing me how to do that. And it's been a work in progress, you guys. For you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get my coffin tips. These are from Aquaman Snail Co. And I am going to be gluing them down. I am using Montage's glue again. This values are really, really fast. So if you guys are still learning, I definitely recommend to go in with a little bit of a slower drying glue. But if you are very comfortable and you want them to tack down really, really fast, definitely get this. It will make your speed so much faster. You guys will love this. But it's almost like as soon as you press it down, you're good to go and move on. And even if you do feel like there is, like it is a little bit crooked, Definitely, you are able to go in and kind of take it off if needed and straighten it back out. So, I've had that happen before in the past, but this glue makes it easy to remove all of that and work with it. And I like to glue from sidewall to sidewall on the nail tips just because. I want to make sure that there is glue over the whole entire worm and that I am not missing any spots just because, I don't know, I feel like scared about missing spots. So I'm going to go ahead and measure them. Um, I know everybody in the comments are always telling me that I should switch to this one thing that it actually levels them or measures them for you. And I still have yet to get the magnets to go on the back of here. So I have, I don't know, i just been buying everything else but that. Every time, like, I'm like, okay, I'm going to make an order for my nail stuff, and I go on Amazon and I purchase a whole bunch of things, and then I see how much it is, and I always delete it out of my cart. I'm like, okay, I can wait, I can wait, I'll just use this. But in reality, I do feel like 
doing that would actually cut down my time a little bit, which I should just do it. I don't know why I keep doing that. But, so yeah, so I still use my nail form. Unless some clients, they do have like some nail beds that are longer than others, then definitely I will go in and I will measure them side by side instead of like the way I do here. And then these tips, they are a coffin tip. So with that being said, you are able to keep them kind of like a tapered square, which that is the look that I like to go with with these. So I will put them on and glue them down. The longer you have them, more, the more coffin they will look. But the shorter you cut them, the more of a tapered square that they look. And I am such a fan of tapered squares. So, of course, I love them. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and go in with my file. And I'm just going to go ahead and file the sides to blend that in, making sure nothing is flaring out. Because, as you guys know, in a lot of videos that I've said in the past, is if you don't end up doing the sides, and if they're poking out at all, what will end up happening is that the tip will show through and then once you go in with filing and stuff, then you end up having like a clear spot and nobody wants that. So, of course, blend that tip in on the sides. And I'm going to go ahead and dust them off. And then now I'm going to go ahead and get my dehydrator and I'm going to go ahead and put that on and then I'm going to go ahead and prime. I like to make sure that I am able to get every surface of the nail. I do not like to miss anything. I like to be very thorough when it comes to my dehydration and primer just because I don't want there to any be like any premature looking or nothing like that. Sometimes I will even dehydrate before I put the tips on. It just kind of depends on how I'm feeling that day to be completely honest with you. Um, but I do feel like if I do dehydrate, it does tap the it does stick the nail tip on a lot even a lot faster than it would if you didn't dehydrate so just keep that in mind in the primer i am using you guys already know it is my holy grail young nails primer this stuff is the bomb i love it i love it i love it um this is a 10 out of 10. i wanted to do a tiktok video you know where they say like um like, I don't know, it's basically like recommending products and telling you like, guys like know about certain ones and yes about certain ones. This is one that I am, yes, yes, yes. So I do want to even do a regret buying video just because I do have so many things that I have actually purchased that I regret buying. I am just not a fan of and if you guys don't have to waste your money, then why not? I know it might be controversial because some of the things are products that a lot of people actually really love and yeah I feel like if I do do that it's not to cause any drama or anything like that but I just want to be able to show people like pros and cons of different things that I have bought and things that I actually really regret, regret purchasing so yeah, so let me know if that's something that you guys would like to see. If I do post it, it will be on TikTok. And may, or maybe I'll do a quick series one where it's just like a yes or no on TikTok. And then after on a video, do like a whole video explaining why. So you guys will be able to know really why I didn't like those products. All right, you guys. So now I went ahead and got my monomer. The monomer I am using is from Montage No Surprise. If you guys haven't tried their monomer already, what are you doing? I love their monomer. The monomer works really well with, of course, their products. And it also works good with a lot of other brands, too. So definitely recommend trying out their monomer. It does work like butter. You guys could see how smooth it was applying this. Yes, I love it. And even with the warmer temperatures, because if you guys are new into doing nails, you guys will end up shortly finding out that temperature does affect the acrylic. So the warmer it is, the faster it dries and things like that. Some, I do notice a tremendous difference, whether it be cool temperatures or hot temperatures. So with that being said, this one actually works pretty good in each temperature, unless you have it like in a, stored in a really, 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 really hot room. Then I think that's when you'll be able to find a difference. But Honestly, you guys, this day when I was doing her nails, it was pretty warm outside, and I didn't have the AC on, I don't think, that day. So, and you guys could see even how smooth it still goes on. So, 
Yes, I love this monomer. The acrylic I am using is Desert Star, and you guys already know that is also from Montage. They are a family-owned brand. Um, I have been shopping with them for years. The mom and family is so amazing. I've been with them for, ever since I was a beginner no tech. So if you guys are struggling into finding what works for you and stuff like that, I definitely recommend trying out their store because if you guys need any helps or tips on anything, they are sure to help you guys. And I just love them so much. They are amazing people. They have such great hearts. And yeah, so if you guys do need somewhere and you guys have questions and things like that, don't feel scared to ask just because the daughter and the mom, they are so knowledgeable with their products and they were both also no tech. So definitely make sure to check them out. And this is something that I'm actually finding out is that with the industry, there's a lot of people who own nail supply stores that actually never did nails, which that comes to a surprise to me because I don't know. I just think in order to sell certain products and like be a good business, I guess, like you would have to sell product or you would have to know nails are like the fundamentals of it. But there are some nail supply stores that I go into and it's like they don't know anything about the nails. So I'm just really surprised like in they'll even be like the owners of the store. So I don't know. But yeah, so if you guys do need a store that does give you a lot of information and is willing to help, we definitely recommend checking them out. Um, online, it might be a little bit different, but you are actually able to use um, you are actually able to use a discount code. I do have a discount code. It is Orima10. So if you guys do want to purchase online or in store, keep in mind in store. If you guys ever make it this way are on your way to Vegas from LA on the 15 freeway, definitely recommend checking them out. They are along the side of the freeway. So I know a lot of people there are always going to Vegas. So if you're ever in the area, please be sure to check them out. They are amazing. Um, but yeah, so in their new store, the new location, if you guys follow me on my Instagram, you guys will see that they did end up opening a new store and they have a ton of stuff there. That place is fully stocked with a whole bunch of different things. And yeah, so if you guys ever go in, my favorite things from them is any of the desert collection of, um, the desert collection of their acrylics, so Desert Star, Desert Rose, Desert Bear, all of those colors, anything that has desert at the beginning of it, their stuff is the bomb. They are my favorite colors. They come in a whole bunch of different, um, a whole bunch of different sizes. So if you guys just want to try them out, they have like, I think even an ounce or even maybe even smaller, but I want to say the smallest that they go is an ounce. So if you guys wanted to try that, they have that. And yeah, I love, I absolutely love these. My clients love these. And yeah, it makes my job easier as an intake and it going on super smooth. They do also have like oiling gels. They have, like if you guys do gel ups and stuff like that, I know they sell the Extend Gel. They sell a ton of nail art stuff. Like that is how I got addicted to their store originally is because at the time they were only a, uh, they were only a nail art store really. And then they would sell me a secret in there. But then eventually they ended up having their own brand and their own brand is really really good you guys honestly i definitely recommend trying some of their stuff out the foil gel is really good as well if you guys are trying to find um a good foil gel where you're able to get the foils to transfer they have a good one um their resin oh my gosh you guys if you guys are having problems with your resin highly recommend their resin gel their resin i mean their resin gel their their resin glue their resin glue is the bomb. Their nail tip glue is the bomb. They have a ton of different tips. So any tip that pretty much you're looking for, chances are you go in there and you're going to find it. So yeah, you guys, <laughs> I mean, that's my spiel on that. I just want to kind of shout them out just because it's like, it's so crazy just to see how far they have came since, because when I was first in beauty school, they were at such a small store and they only had a few things in the store and eventually they started to grow and get more and more and more and they grew off of like nail art stuff and then from there they ended up getting their own brand of things which I think is amazing in itself 
just to be able to have a family-owned business like that and just to see their brand flourish. And yeah, so, and I see a lot of really amazing nail techs use them, especially like nail techs that you see all over like Instagram and they're super, super popular and things like that. So I've even seen other nail techs like Priscilla Nails. I've seen her use their matte top coat and she's in love with it and things like that. Or like in her life that she did a, a video she had mentioned it and she was like really happy about it so yeah definitely you guys if you guys are looking for nail stuff or even just to get into the industry definitely recommend stopping by them they are super knowledgeable and are able to help you pair my kit together and see what you guys need now i'm going to go ahead and go in open face a great file and i am just going to go ahead and start shaking and get the outer edges done first and then go across completely and if you guys are able to see any dents in the nail usually this is where you will see it and if there's any dips it will basically show you where you need to continue to file And you guys can see that these tips, they are still a really, really pretty, nice tapered square. And getting a file that it has more of a stiff back and it's not floppy, I highly recommend. Just because some files that I have been getting, actually, like, because I'm, I was like, you know what, like, around the time that I, like, we are trying to buy the house and stuff, I was penny pinching, being completely honest with you guys. I just did not have money to spend on a lot of the things that I did like, so I did end up having to get like cheaper files and things, and um, just so I was been trying to penny pinch during that time. And you guys, I wish I wouldn't have. I wish I would have just bought the my regular ones or even just a good quality one, just because the ones that I ended up getting and I cheaped out on, they were super cheap, but they I ended up having to throw them all away. So. I do kind of want to even do like I don't know how people would perceive this but I do also want to do the things that don't work for me I also want to do like a giveaway basket instead of throwing things away um but I don't know how I would go about doing that like I don't want it to be like oh like I'm just giving like people like I don't know like like I don't want it to just seem like I don't I don't know how to explain it like I just feel like I don't want it to come off the wrong way, like, but it's like, if it doesn't work for me, chances are maybe it might work for somebody else, or maybe somebody who's a beginner, I don't know, but I just feel horrible throwing away stuff, just because I know what doing nails anyways, like, sometimes by the end of the day, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, realizing how much trash and stuff I have thrown away, I'm, like, so surprised, so, I honestly just feel like if I'm able to give them or donate that to them to somebody, that is in need i would much rather do that than to just toss them out in the trash because lately that's what i have been doing with all the stuff that i didn't end up liking when i had just purchased is i ended up having to toss it out so let me know if you guys think that that's a good idea because i would actually really love to be able to do that and give somebody and maybe help somebody else out
But now I'm going to go ahead and get that same fine sanding band that I used to cut the nail. And I'm actually going to use it to shape around the cuticles and smooth everything out. And you guys can see her shape came out so beautiful. I'm obsessed with the way her nails came out. Shaping on her is so easy. I do feel like my clients that are a little bit more stiff, it's harder to get that perfect shape on them. Like just because my hand is not really, my hands are cramping. So if you guys are a client and you guys are watching this just to see how nails are going to be done and stuff, definitely when you are getting your nails done, being relaxed is so important. So if you guys are able to relax your hand instead of keeping them stiff, I know sometimes it's a bad habit. Like some people, they I feel like their stress just goes to their hands and they will end up being stiff. So I notice if it's like a stressful conversation, they tend to get even more stiff. So I just usually always tell them, like, please relax. Or like sometimes I will let go of their, I'll like let go of their hand very lightly and then they'll realize what they're doing and then I don't even have to tell them to like relax their hand usually. But my clients know how I work and stuff. I always tell them like, can you please relax? Can you please relax? If they're getting really stiff. So some people they're like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm like, no, it's okay. Like I know like sometimes you just out of habit, people end up getting stiff like that. So I know some people it really bothers them, but I think communication with your clients is key to having a good relationship and just for them even just to relax their hands. So <laughs> it's as easy as that. Um, I see a lot of like mean posts lately, like where people are complaining about their clients and stuff like that. But you guys, like just a reminder, like your clients are the ones who pay your bills and keep your dream going. So I don't know. I feel like sometimes I just think like my whole thing is like, just be sweet to these people, you know, like they're the ones paying our bills and making our dreams come true. So, I mean, don't get me wrong, like, if somebody is super disrespectful to you, I think I, by any means, like, I feel like that shouldn't be tolerated, but if it's something as simple as, like, just them relaxing their hands, I don't know, just be kind to them, you know, they don't know what they're doing. All right, you guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and go in with my e-file, clean up underneath it a little bit, and then go over the tops, making sure I'm smoothing out any of those lumps and bones, if there are any. But you guys, look how beautiful around her cuticle are. Sorry, you guys, my big old head's in the way. I was just trying to get all up in there and making sure that I am being very thorough <laughs> with my job. So I am very particular. I don't know about you guys, but my face is always like inches away from my client's hand because I'm trying to make sure that they are as clean as they can be. So now I'm going up, evening that out, and going around the cuticles. And you guys, look at the shape, it looks so pretty. And you guys, once I was finished with that, I went ahead and I put the top coat on and I cured it. Now I am gonna go ahead and get my mama ready in some white, and we are going to be doing 3D flowers. Something that I wish I would have done different is put the stone down first. I feel like I was afraid of getting acrylic on the stone, but the more control you have with your product, if you're working with a dry bead, it should not run into the crystal at all. So that is something that I wish I would have done, just because I feel like the look of it would have came out a lot cleaner. So in I didn't really think about that until just in that second. <laughs> you guys could see I was about to even put on another petal, and then I went to go grab my crystals. But the crystals I am going to be using, they are almost like a rose gold kind of color. They are like a clear rose gold. They look so beautiful, and I'm super excited about using these because they look pretty. And honestly, you guys, these actually looked really really good even when she came back i wish i had her after picture of like her set because everything was still intact and oh no actually she broke a couple and then she put the rest of them down but what was left of the what was left of her 3d flowers they still had the crystals on them so and the crystals they were still super super shiny so Definitely recommend if you guys are looking for some crystals, try some of the ones from Montage. They are pretty good. These I got from Montage because I was trying to replicate a set from 
I think his name is Giovanni Mills. You guys will see him all over TikTok. If you are in the TikTok nail, nail, nail algorithm, sorry you guys, for whatever reason, I cannot say nail right now. Sorry you guys, I don't know if you guys could hear it. My fiance is playing with the baby, so <laughs> they're going crazy in the hallway. You guys, but you guys will see I drain my bead of liquid and then after I go dip back into my liquid and I will end up like pressing everything on out and spreading it to the way I need. I'm sorry my wiggle head is in the frame again. <laughs> sorry you guys. Um but you see I drain it out and then I place it down and you guys could see I am just going in, keeping the tip of my brush towards the center and just pushing and fanning it out. Now I'm going to go ahead and put another bead and just basically do the same exact thing right here. And it looks like I got on the, the stone, but I promise you guys I didn't. Um, but when you are doing this type of design, you want to make sure that you get close to it. But you guys see how on the edges of the petal, I am kind of like pushing it in. That is why you need to have just a little, little, little tiny bit of a gap. So then you are able to kind of tuck those little pieces in. And you guys can see that it's very close, but it is not touching. And then I tuck in the sides, and then now I'm going to go ahead and pat that out. And then after now, we're going to go ahead and just press that middle petal out. I'm thankful my head is not in the way again. I know it's close to be covering it up, but I did want to be able to leave these clips in here to show you guys um, just in case there is just certain parts of it that you're able to pull from this video. I just really hope that it makes it easier for you guys. And you guys, now once that is done, I'm just going to go ahead and start working on the other nail. And once I'm done with that, I am going to go ahead and go in on the other nail. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and get that opulence liner brush and I am just going to go ahead and go in and make a V line and the other ones I am actually going to be top coating for the second time. I like to use this pink palette and you can pretty much get these anywhere. These are also from Montage Nail Supplies and but I do see them all over the place. So anywhere you're at, if you guys can get your hands on these, I highly recommend or even a tile or something like that. Anything that you're able to put your paints on, I definitely recommend. And once we are done with touching this up, we are actually gonna go ahead and go in with our glossy top coat. I went ahead and put them into the light for 60 seconds and this is the final look. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel if you guys learned anything here on the channel. Alright, thank you. Have a good day. Bye.